This is a little behind the scenes uh, from recording uh, for my channel. So I had a or have a Canon uh, camcorder, a larger, more professional one that I've shot most of my videos with, and the audio uh, recording capabilities of it failed, and I had to send it off to Canon to be repaired. In fact, I just received it back uh, yesterday. In the meantime, I've got a project going on that wouldn't wait, and I needed to continue recording, and I hustled around and tried to borrow a camcorder, and uh, nobody has them anymore. Ran around to the uh, local stores and was looking for something in particular and couldn't find it. And uh, so did a bit of shopping online and, and uh, checking with what other people are using uh, to do YouTube videos. And one of the cameras that came up over and over again was this Canon Vixia uh, HFR 700. It's a kind of an entry level, it's like $300 camera. And it uh, comes with a battery, um, not a charger, unfortunately, which I, I bought another battery in that separately. Um, but uh, it had a couple things that were important to me. Because I record myself and I have to see myself, the screen has to flip around. And I have to be able to see the audio uh, visually recording because I'm talking into the camera, I can't monitor it. And I've had it happen where it's died. I haven't been, you know, the microphone has died, hasn't been paying attention. And so I've got back and blown the whole video. Um, and if it's a project that I can't repeat, it's kind of gone. And so um, this camera had that. And for an entry level camera, it was one of the few that I found. But what it did not have, and I absolutely need, is, is a cold shoe on top of the camera to hold my wireless microphone or my shotgun microphone. At the same time, and I believe there were the same problem, my uh, Rode um, Filmmaker Kit wireless microphone also died. So I think there was some kind of uh, disturbance in there that kind of fried the circuitry of both. And so the camera I've gotten back, I haven't tested it yet. The um, microphone, I just got an email. Uh, UPS is, it's been shipped back to me and repaired. In the meantime, I've had to record uh, with various types of audio equipment trying to get it up and it hasn't been great. So I'm using the audio and the camera until this coming Monday when I get my shotgun mic and or my wireless lapel mic back. All that being said, I have to be able to mount the mic on the camera and I made a bracket uh, that mounted to the tripod and it was a bit cumbersome, made it in the woodshop, bending some metal. And uh, so then I came up with this, uh, where I've got this, um, uh, a bunch of these um, cold shoes that I use to mount my flash or my speed lights on um, light stands. I do, I shoot a lot, a lot of photography architecture. And so I have a lot of uh, speed lights. And so I've got these things, a bunch of them. So I took one and I just uh, held it kind of to the front of the camera here and scribed lines on both sides. And then I took my grinder and I ground it away. And then I used a little piece of this 3M sticky, double sticky foam. And it worked great. And uh, so I was able to, to kind of keep moving and also to take this kind of entry level camera. It shoots great video, HD, um, uh, 1080p. In fact, I'm probably going to make this my primary camera in the big pro version. It's a little more cumbersome and there's more setup. And this does all I need. So I'm probably going to stick with this now that I've got it set up and I'm happy with the video. But anyway, so I did this and, and this is fine. Um, but I wanted something a little... Um, sleeker and this is metal i wanted something plastic that i could just stick to this so i made a little design went to my buddies at fast cap they have a 3d printer and basically uh one of the engineers there just measured the diameter of the lens because that or the front of the camera because that's the curvature we're matching and drew, just drew up this little block and we just measured uh what i needed the inside dimension to be because all of my um, flashes, lights, microphones all have their own lock. I didn't need this adjustable section here. I just needed it to be size that would accept this and then I could screw it down or again, my wireless uh, lav mic. So um, they measured that up and then they sent it to the printer. And this literally took about two minutes to design in CAD and then hit print, send it to the printer. And this is what I got. So it's this cool, low profile, all plastic, uh, with the, um, what I need for the, to accept microphones and, and lights. And there you have it. So it, 
Um, again, it's a perfect little part. So now what I'm going to do is uh, pop this one off. And that 3M is pretty sticky, so I, but I didn't want to, you know, hot glue it or come up with an epoxy or even, uh, you know, obviously no screws or anything. So, you know, that pops right off. And this is the same material that is uh, stuck on the bottom of this. And again, I had FastCap make that. They don't offer custom 3D printing. It's just I'm working with them. I've been working with them on a project of my own for about a year. So I've had a lot of access to their shop and We've done a bunch of prototyping, and uh, so I uh, cheated a little and said, Hey, Dennis, can you make me this? And he popped it out for me. So there it is. And now all I have to do is just drop it right on, make sure I center it properly. Of course, I can always replace this 3M if I want to take it off in the future. Make sure that I don't have anything. Now, I think Canon should put a cold shoe on all of their cameras. I mean, it only makes sense. People have lights and microphones, and it does have a... Uh, another thing I had to have um, was it had to have an external mic input. Not all cameras do. And I do have really nice uh, camera equipment, like the Sony uh, that shoots beautiful 4K video. But unfortunately, there's no way for me to see myself to monitor it without investing in external monitors, and then it gets really complicated. Instead, I can just take this thing out in the field, set it up on the tripod, I've got a little quick-release bracket there, snap it right in the tripod, flip the screen around, have the microphone on. I can see the, uh, the audio recording both into the camera, so I see what's being laid down, and then here. And all this is just kind of back you know, behind the scenes of what goes on to try to make these videos down in the shop and out in the field. Um, but it's just, uh, you know, this 3D printing is amazing. I was able to take what otherwise um, would not have been that functional of a camera for me without this and able to have that printed, you know, right up. Of course, I could have stuck with this, but, you know, I, I like this lower profile and no moving parts. And now I can just toss this in my camera bag. And even when I'm out traveling and stuff, I can have this with me and uh, you know capture some video where I probably wouldn't carry the larger uh, Canon that I have. Anyway, like I said, this isn't woodworking. I just, it was about 3D printing on it. And uh, you know, we're talking about CNC machines. I'm having some CNC work done on a project, the naturally interesting computer driven cutters, and then to have something actually printed up. And I thought I'd just uh, share that uh, with you guys. So if you have a little part you need and you can find a shop that has a 3D printer, um, and obviously they're getting cheaper and cheaper. Um, the, uh, the ones that these guys have now, I think they said were a few thousand a piece and the predecessors they had, which weren't as good were 20 or 30,000. So, um, I really think they're going to become affordable. And so if you use SketchUp and you can draw something up and you've got a 3d printer, uh, this would be a great option for making parts. And I'm even thinking in the wood shop, we're working with tools when you need to, instead of milling something out of metal, uh, you might be able to just print it up and they have all kinds of materials that these printers uh, can work with. So new concept to me, I know it's not new to the world, but I think it's becoming more available. So maybe we'll see more of that in the future. Well, thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.